All right guys, so I am here oh, a little bit different of an area. I'm in my living room right now to do my St. Vincent's haul. Um, it was half off day, so everything was half off, which can't beat. Um, so I'm gonna share with you everything me and Eric have found while thrifting. I think we're selling most of it. There are a couple of things we're kind of on the fence about, uh, but let's just go ahead and get to it. So the first thing is this Supreme no, it's not Supreme. It's a special blend <laughs> snowboarding coat. This is a snowboarding coat. Um, really loud graphics. I told Eric, I'm trying to like teach him a little bit of what I know with things. And I told him like loud, vibrant, kind of what some people might consider ugly cells. People like the weird. So um, this ended up, it is a snowboarding coat and half off it was so being half off, this was $2.50, which is an amazing deal for a snowboarding coat. Um, so this we were seeing being sold for around like $50. So we're definitely going to be selling this. So that was a great score. So this is the one I'm kind of on the fence about is this Victoria's Secret pink. Um, it's not a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood. It's just kind of like a fleece uh, pullover. And it says pink here along the side. This was $2. And if it fits me, I might just keep it. I'm unsure if it will or not. Uh, but Victoria's Secret pink stuff usually sells pretty well. Um, everyone seems to really like Victoria's Secret pink, especially the younger girls. So got that for two bucks. So this one, Eric came up to me with it and he wasn't sure about it. I wasn't particularly very sure of it either. I had never heard of the brand. It's someone named Alan Flusser, if I'm saying that right. But it's just a button down paisley shirt. I was intrigued because the embroidery in here, the name's actually embroidered onto the shirt. There's not like a tag. So to me, that means, you know, it maybe was a little bit pricier. I don't know. I don't know, uh, but it ended up being $4, so we thought we would take a chance with it. So when we did look this up, it was about $20, $25 we might be able to get for it. So they had a whole rack of Harley Davidson apparel. A lot of it was brand new with the tags, but even with the half off, it still really wasn't worth buying. Like some of the coats they wanted like $200, $300 for. Uh, so I was looking for more of like the vintage Harley Davidson items. And I did find this t-shirt. This one is from 1996. So, and I like the fact that there was a graphic on the back as well. And sometimes it also helps when you're purchasing stuff like this. Um, the bigger the size, the better. Um, this is an extra large. So I feel like this one, this would sell a little easier than say like a smaller medium would. So got that and half off, it was $2. And here's a shot of the back. So this is from Atlanta, Georgia. Alright, so the next item we got was this snazzy trench coat. This ended up being $6. It is by a company called Hart Schaffner and Marks. It was made in the USA. This is definitely vintage and it looks like it was selling for about $50. So what did I say we paid $6? So got that. It's definitely in really good condition. Doesn't look like it was really worn at all. So picked up that. All right, so you all know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love picking up the Western wear shirts, the ones with the pearl snap, snazzy, snazzy buttons. They are like some of my favorite things to sell. So this one is just by a brand called Shoot Number One. Um, these just have like all different types of brands. I'm not always concerned about the brand per se. It's more about the embroidery. Like I love when there's actual embroidery along like the front. I really like it when it's along the back. This one doesn't have anything on the back, but I did like the front embroidery. And yeah, I just, I love these things and I always never really have a problem selling them. So got that and this was, how much was this guy? This was $2.50, so love my Western wear. Yeehaw. All right, so these next few pieces of men's clothing are just super exciting for me because 
it's rare to really find them. I mean, I found some Burberry pieces already before, but you know, it's not like an every week occurrence kind of thing. So this first one is a men's Burberry button up shirt. Um, just really nice and it's a large so that, like I said, the larger sizes I feel like do better. Um, so this was $2.50, so Burberry for $2.50, can't beat that, so pick that one up. So more Burberry, we actually found not one, but two Burberry suits. So this comes with the uh, suit as well as the pants, and you can see the tag in there, so $5.00. For a Burberry suit. I mean, wow, that's insane. Probably gonna list this at like $150 for like the complete suit, but if it's Eric, so I don't know if we're selling this one yet or not, but we got another one, and this one is, I think, really snazzy with the, the buttons here, but again, it is a, this one doesn't have the pants, but it is a Burberry suit coat, and it even has the Burberry hanger as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, and this one was also $5, even though it was just the coat, um, it was still $5. So lots of Burberry. So to sell this without pants, probably be about $40 or $50, so five bucks, that's great score. The next one we were unsure about, but I love the fact that it's Italian because that right there to me screams money, <laughs> but it's by a company called Giorgio Ferrelli, and this is just so nicely well made. It's insane, and it does come with the pants, and the interior is just absolutely beautiful. Like This is so nicely made. It's insane. So. Um, I think we're thinking about like 80 to 100 for this one and we paid $6. So that's really nice. This one is just, gosh, if you could feel it right now, like it just feels like really good quality. And a lot of the times when I am shopping for clothes, shoes, purses, it doesn't really matter what it is. I touch everything and you guys know that when you watch my videos, like why do you to touch everything that's how I kind of determine um, some items uh, just by their feel like if you can feel something that's really nicely well made then you know that it's gonna be something and just the way that this feels I had to pick it up all right so ties I pick up ties just because they're super duper cheap but sometimes they sit for a while for me they're not quick sellers, but um, I will pick them up if, you know, they're good brands and they're cheap. So this was 50 cents and it is Brooks Brothers um, silk tie, just a nice kind of like pale yellow silk. So for 50 cents Brooks Brothers, I'll buy it. So we got a lot of clothes this time around, um, but on the Harley Davidson rack I was talking about, I picked up these women's uh, black denim Harley Davidson jeans. These were $2.50. So just nicely well made uh, jeans. They have like the little Harley logo here on the pocket. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but um, just a nice pair of denim jeans. I think they'll sell well. They have a size in here. They are a women's 12. So I think that size will do pretty well. You sold one before, didn't you? Yeah, not this Do you know, line. do you remember how much you sold one for? I feel like it's like 40 bucks or That's something. That's still, that's crazy. <laughs> like. So this thing here is one of those things that I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know. Now I did sell, this is a raincoat, um, but it's just kind of like packaged in like its own little sleeve, like it'll pull out of here. I sold a vintage raincoat that was brand new in the package before. It wasn't this brand, but I got like 40 some dollars for it, which is insane. So this is by a brand called, well, I don't know if it's the brand. It says Totem Poncho with Hood, 50 by 80, made in Japan. So made in Japan, this is definitely going to be a vintage raincoat. I, the color of it kind of reminded me military. Now, I don't know if this would be considered a military raincoat or not, but 
I wanted to take a try with it anyway, just because it was new, still in its little like kind of carrying case. Um, so yeah, that's just gonna be kind of a sold a raincoat before, might sell this one kind of thing. So we'll see how that one goes. But if anyone has seen something like this or saw anything called totem that would be like a raincoat, let me know down in the comments. I'm just like, when I Googled this and everything, I couldn't really find much information on it. So, but pick that up. Nice thing I got was this old apron. I just fall in love with like vintage stuff like this. It says Australia on the front. It has Australia on it and then just all of their wonderful animals like the koala and kangaroo. And you can tell this is older. I paid $1 for it and what's it say here on the bottom? It does say something. It says designed in Australia by Heel, H-E-I-L. So for a dollar, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get that because it is so super cute and definitely older. So maybe I'll just keep it and use it when I'm baking some cookies or something. So, I mean, look at the koala. The graphics on this is just so cute. All right, so the next thing I got was some Legos. This was a little pricey. It was $7.50 even as half off, but I had a Lego set in this same uh, tub before, so I knew it was vintage already just looking at it. But when I opened it up, even looking at these pamphlets, these are the older Legos. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy that. And then not only, my nose is itching so bad right now. <sighs> not only does it have all of the, um, well, I shouldn't say all, cause I don't know, I'll have to make sure before I list. But it has a bunch of Legos in it, but it also has some sets in it that are still sealed in their baggies. And they are, you know, like I said, the older Lego sets. Like that set is in here, um, number 6675. So I figured I could probably get more than $7.50 for it, or if I like parted out like the little sets and sold them separately, I might even be able to get a little more for them. So these are from like 1985 is the date I saw on the um, little packets. So yeah, that's why I remember them because I'm a child of the 80s. So Legos, regardless if they're old, like they're hot sellers still when they have been for many, many years. So I just decided to pick that up. All right, and then the last things I got were these um, vintage little elves or sprites, pixies, whatever you wanna call them. Um, these were, two of them were 50 cents and one was actually a quarter. And the one that was a quarter is because it's missing one of its hands. So uh, two of them are little red ones and they can actually hang on to something. And you saw in my video, they had them hanging off of like a bowl or the cups that they were displaying. And then this one here is just kind of straight chilling with its legs up in the air. And these are made in Hong Kong, so they are definitely older. I love the look of these. I, I'm probably gonna keep them. I really do see myself keeping them. Like this will look so cute out with all of like my Christmas decorations. And I can probably like find a place to hang these little elves, I call them pixies, but they're just so stinking cute. So 25 cents and 50 cents a piece, can't beat it. So that's everything that we picked up this week. We definitely plan on going back uh, next Saturday and seeing if we can find some more stuff. I really wanted to get in there this week because, this past week, because I hadn't been in since the free fill a bag and they had gotten out all of like their new stuff. So there were a couple of things I didn't pick up that I wanted to. So if they're still there, I do plan on picking those up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This one's probably a little longer than usual, uh, but hopefully you found it a little bit informative as well. So let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.